This will be a day long remembered. Now I am the master. Welcome to another episode of Legends and Theories. And welcome to my review of Star Wars The New Jedi Order Edge of Victory 1 Conquest. This is going to be a little shorter one because this one has the most straightforward and the one that has the closest to a single story of them. With this, the primary focus is on Anakin Solo going to the world of Yavin and just trying to rescue the students there. And after doing that, he has to try and rescue his best friend Tahiri from the Vong and actually teams up with the Vong. This is honestly probably one of the most interesting parts where Anakin gets to look into the Yuzan Vong society. Yeah, honestly, that was probably the most interesting part of it. Him going undercover and learning about literally everything as he pretended to be a slave in the back half of the book. But also just starting to understand their culture and just how they operate. He still sees them as a threat because they are one, but he is able to better understand it. And yeah, honestly, that was really interesting. There's also those fun little things where you get some looks at Talon Card, who you don't get too many looks in after Timothy Zahn's run on Star Wars finishes. And I think that, at least from what I've seen, he hasn't been any of the true later parts of Legends. But I still really enjoyed him in here. And continuing to just some other stuff. It was honestly just really interesting to see some of the other characters and have the Jedi set up to be on the Errant Venture, which is Booster Tarek's Star Destroyer, and I do know where they eventually go to because of the Fate of the Jedi series. But yeah, honestly, this was a really interesting book. I really enjoy the fact that we get to see just a little bit more with Anakin Stolo, and he gets a whole book to himself, considering that he does die in the series, and I don't think there's going to be another book fully dedicated to him. And it was also interesting to kind of see in some other parts of the Society of the Vong, especially how they won't really adapt to anything, even when it will be beneficial to them, and yeah, won't involve them using technology, as we see with the Shapers trying to break Tahiri and make her become a Vong. It's pretty interesting to see that. And you can see how stuff like this would cause her eventual fall to the dark side when manipulated by the fallen Jason Solo. And yeah, honestly, I think that was interesting. And although she eventually does get redeemed, it still is clear this is where it begins, where she will eventually be able to be manipulated by Jason to turn to the dark side. And I do wonder how this insider knowledge that she now has, believing for at least a little bit that she's part of the society, will help the Jedi in the war. Because yeah, honestly, it was just a really interesting part, and... Even though, you know, these books have been out for a while, I just haven't had the chance to read them yet, and I'm so far really enjoying the next book. But I do want to know what you think. Please let me know in the comments, and I'll see you next episode of Legends and Theories. Thank you for watching this episode of Legends and Theories. Please subscribe, like the video, share the video, leave a comment, check out the video on screen, and may the Force be with you. Thank <laughs> you.